Guilty Gear is one of the big trademark series of Arc System Works. With dynamic and stylish combat and gorgeous visuals and soundtrack, it's an important staple in the developer's career. Guilty Gear Strive seems to continue on the company's steps towards making compelling 2D fighters with 3D visuals that are fluid and impactful. While both Guilty Gear Xrd games and Grand Blue Fantasy showed their excellent visual aspect, Strive feels more refined. For the open beta early access period, it's already possible to see impressively detailed backgrounds, animations, and interesting visual effects with the UI. To put it bluntly, this game is stylish as hell. Guilty Gear Strive is a major fighting spectacle. From the movement of the camera, to the use of sparks and particles, to even the way the combo numbers and counter indicators jump on the screen, all those things make it into a compelling and dynamic skill competition. During the open beta, it was possible to get a taste of 13 of the already announced characters, with only Anji left out. There's a lot of variety to be found here, from the rushdown type newcomers like Giovanna, to the complicated puppet character Zato, including all around Kisuke and grappler Potenkin. Though the mastery of each character has different curves, it also feels really easy for newcomers to pick up. My only experience with the Guilty Gear series was playing XX Accent Core plus R on the PlayStation 2. Strive was much easier to understand, learn, and improve my skills faster. I imagine many people who are fond of fighters but not particularly skilled or experienced will find Strive to be a good entry point to get a little more serious, or just have a lot of fun. With lobbies ranked by skill, it should be easy to find players around the same level as you when the game's released. It's also simple to go from one region to another, so if there isn't anyone in your room, you can just jump to another area. Though it's important to keep in mind that battles may be more fluid the closer players are, but the rollback netcode should improve online play considerably. Unlike delay-based netcode, this technique should reduce lag. Having no issue with delays is important for a game like this in which any hindrance to input may spell death. I'm glad to say that I didn't have any issues with players from any region so far during my time playing ranked battles. Besides the lobby areas, it's also possible to fight ranked battles straight from the main menu's quick battle option. While waiting for a new match, players can train, and you're even able to use data from the last enemy to exercise your skills. Frankly speaking, my impressions of Guilty Gear Strive are very positive. Not only is it a flashy fighter that even uses its UI for maximum impact, but it's accessible for newcomers while allowing for a variety of character style. It's exactly the kind of fighting game experience I crave and I can't wait to get my hands on the full release. Guilty Gear Strive is coming to PS5, PS4, and PC on April 6th. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Duel one. Let's rock.
勝負でした。